What's good, everybody? We are back yet again with episode two of the Budget Squad. We actually did a lot with the Brooklyn Broke Boys last night on YouTube slash YouTube Gaming in the live stream. If you were there, big shout out to you. If you weren't, you gotta be here tonight, man. We're gonna be streaming at seven o'clock Central Time, grinding, man, grinding to get the Brooklyn Broke Boys a better squad and to make them beast, Leo. We made so much progress last night, and throughout the stream, I was just recording every little bit that we did so you guys can see it in this video right now now it is a little bit longer than I would have liked it to be so in the future man I'm definitely gonna make those clips a little bit shorter and quickly show it instead of making it longer than it probably should be so yeah be on the lookout for that in future videos but yes man obviously last night was episode one and a half of the budget squad and then tonight is episode two and a half of the budget squad so make sure to come out to this stream at seven o'clock central time which is eight o'clock eastern time and five o'clock pacific time it's gonna be a good time but yes now you guys can see the highlights of the stream all right boys we just finished our first game of domination live from youtube slash youtube gaming the stream is going to be its own video so if you want to watch me do it you can i beat the nets by like 62 points absolutely dominated them as you can see man we earned 778 my team points in that game which is definitely a good amount really happy about that man now we are starting off well in this journey to get a dope team in the budget squad make sure to leave a like if you're watching in the stream right now or if you're just watching in the video man i appreciate you i absolutely killed it bro so the bulls are next but first it's time to open up my pack man i'm just gonna do the player pack for the youtube video then we'll do the other two off the video hopefully 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 we get like uh who do we want i don't even know jeremy lynn would be dope uh, D'Lo, that would be that would be the best case scenario. I don't think that's possible though, but yeah. We'll see who we're getting here. Our first player hopefully isn't a bronze. Can you even get bronzes? I don't know. We get two contracts, which are needed, and our silver card is Sean Kilpatrick. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what his stats are looking like. Could be decent though, man. Alright, we finished the second game of Domination. Didn't do as well this time around, obviously. 619 MT, still not bad by any means. And you get a little bit extra here. We're going to pick up the Bulls jersey pack, the Bulls ball pack, and obviously the Bulls player pack, man. Shout out to everyone in the stream right now. If you're watching on the stream, make sure to smash that like button, bros. Now it's time to go to the reward queue and open up the Bulls player pack. I'm looking for Lowry Markinen. That's who I want. Hopefully I get him. Shout out to everyone who's watching live on YouTube. You guys are all some real ones. I want Lowry though, man. I want Lowry. All right, I see a bronze. Okay, contract card. Give me Lowry. Give me Lowry. Oh, Bobby Portis. That's all right. It's not terrible. It's all right. I wanted Lowry, but we'll be all good, bro. All right, so your boy actually just completed all five of these challenges live on YouTube slash YouTube Gaming. Shout out to all the homies who are in the stream right now. You guys are real ones, man. Shout out to you guys. But yes, we completed that. Obviously, we got a challenge token for doing that, and we actually received a pack. So we're going to be opening up that pack right now in hopes of getting some fire. It is guaranteed to get a gold player in it. So I'm hoping it's a beast, man. Hopefully we get a beastly bull that bull, or a beastly gold that will be valuable to us. You see there's two gold things. Contract cards, those are must greatly needed. And okay, we got an injury card. I don't need those. And George Hill. That's trash because he's one of the players that you can get in the starter pack, so he has no value at all, man. That is not good. Not even a little bit, man. All right, so you guys know I've been grinded on the stream. The stream's still live. The stream's still lit, obviously, but we are just one goal away from getting the auction house, and we actually have enough MT now to do it. Originally, I was going to buy $2 worth of VC to do it, but someone in the comments was like, yo, Nick, this is a no money spent series. I think spending money the first day would be pointless. And while I think it's really stupid that you have to buy a pack in this game to get the auction house, I did kind of agree with him, so obviously we are now here buying a pack with MT in hopes of getting some fire. And even if we don't, well, I really want fire from this. That would be dope. That would be an amazing start to the squad, but... Either way, we're getting the auction house, so even if I get some trash, it's all good. But if we pull this sapphire here, that would be super dope. And it would be a nice time to get a dope coach. What are we looking at? Oh, man. Well, at least there's one gold. This better not be like a, a, a trashy silver card. Don't be a trashy silver card. Aaron Baines. 
That's a trashy silver card. David Fisdale, we got a new coach. We got some new jerseys. But Aaron Baines is not who I wanted at all. I'll probably sell him on the auction house if he has any value at all, bro. That's upsetting. Your boy just finished another game of domination grinding on the stream. Shout out to everyone watching it live, man. We picked up 673 points this time around. I didn't get enough free throws, unfortunately, but it is all good, man. Good win right there. Obviously, picking up all three of the rewards and picking up a little bit of MT as well, which is always good. Now it's time to open up the 76ers player pack and hopefully we get some fire, dude. If we can get like Joel Embiid from it, that would be amazing. Also, another player I'd like to get is Fultz. Or even if I can get Ben Simmons, that would be cool as well, man. There's a bunch of beasts on the Sixers that I would like to get. JJ Redick as well. He could be a good player for the budget squad. Now it's time to open the 76ers player pack. Give me some fire 2K. I need the heat. I need the heat. I need Embiid. I need Fultz. I need somebody nice. Oh, man. Are we really getting a bronze player here? Are we really getting a... Oh, we got a gold, yo. This might be Fultz. This might be Fultz, baby. Boom, come on, please. Oh, yes. Let's go. Markel Fultz, baby. Welcome to the Brooklyn Broke Boys. It's lit, man. Smash that like button for Markel Fultz. All right, so this is something I've been doing live from the YouTube streams. You play the schedule games, the first one just with random players that you're not going to use or that you plan on selling to use some of their contracts just to pick up a contract pack man in each of these contract packs there are five of bronze contracts and i know man it is a grind to get those extra contracts so yes i highly suggest you do that because you see right here it uses up 12 contracts to play a game but obvious or 13 contracts to play a game because you have 13 players but obviously you get 15 back and also you can just do it with players you don't plan on keeping and that you end up selling to just waste their contracts before you sell them that's a really good way to save some MT on contracts I just wanted to start this recording a little bit early to show you guys I just completely demolished the freaking Suns dude I wasn't even using my best players because I was using some contracts for some players I planned on selling and I still won by 61 points we should be getting a ton of MT points for winning this one dude I played amazing defense I didn't get the free throws but man 808 MT points that is definitely fire especially with the players I was using bro like I wasn't even using I used honestly mostly bronze cards that entire game like it, it's crazy that I dominated like that I just want to say this man Bobby Portis is an absolute budget beast so is Terrence Ferguson so is well Melo started on the team but this man Dorian Finney-Smith posterized everybody, bro. Now it's time for the Suns player pack. I really want Devin Booker from it, man. If we can get D-Book, that would be so freaking lit. Um, who else do I want? I'd be fine with Bledsoe. That would be cool as well. Also, Josh Jackson. I would love picking him up. I don't know what um, tier Booker is, though, so... If I don't know if he's emerald or not. I have no idea. Maybe he's gold. I don't know. Hopefully this isn't a player though. Oh, it's not. We got another goldie, man. Back to back goldies. That's dumb lit. Who's it gonna be? Devin Booker! D freaking book, yo. These packs have been so lit for me, man. Smash that like button. The budget squad is going insanely well right now, bros. So obviously, as you just saw, we did finally unlock the auction house and we did grind a lot of domination. And now we actually do have uh, 1,580 MT. Now, I don't think I'm going to spend any of it right now because I think I'm going to save it up and wait to see who I get out of my domination packs just so I don't waste any MT but I feel like I had some really really good luck last night and I'm going to make my best squad that I can right now just to see what that squad is looking like obviously this is the team I used last partially because of contracts um, but yeah, man, I'm really really liking a lot of these players I just want to quickly go over some players I find to be budget beasts players that I have found to have great success with playing in domination First and foremost Tyler Dorsey man. This guy is a beast people don't realize that you get him out of I think two or three different starter packs He has an 82 open shot three, which is amazing Especially when you got to put up at least five threes per game in domination He also could dunk the ball man only a 65 overall, but this guy's a beast also, man, 
Dorian Finney-Smith. This dude dunks on everybody, bro. Insanely athletic. He had a crazy windmill for me last night. Another super athlete is this man, Terrence Ferguson. He's an absolute beast. He has a really good jump shot, and he can shoot the three-man. 74 open shot three. It doesn't look that amazing, but you have to realize, Devin Booker only has a 75 open shot three. So this dude can definitely stroke it. That's for sure. And he also has some really, really good dunk stats, man. He was yamming on dudes last night for me. Also, another bronze budget beast this dude man tj freaking leaf lonzo ball's old teammate at ucla this man has a really really good jump shot obviously he also has decent post moves and he's also pretty good at rebounding his stats don't make it look like it but for whatever reason he was getting a ton of boards for me so i really really enjoyed playing with him man i would definitely try to pick him up if you're looking to add some bronze players to the squad i also really like this bobby portis he can shoot the three a little bit but yeah man i'm gonna create a new lineup and see what we can do man i'm just gonna name this one burr because i can why not why freaking not obviously starting off with the point guard it's kind of a tough decision for me but i'm gonna go with fultz man first pick in the nba draft i feel like he's gonna be really fun to use shooting guard pretty easy decision for me i'm going with d book obviously then we have the power forward position. I'm going to go with Bobby Portis. At first when I pulled him, I'm like, okay, I'm definitely going to sell him. Now I really don't know because this dude's been a beast for me. And he's a bull, so that obviously adds some points. Obviously the small forward, I got to go with Carmelo Anthony. And then at the center, it's a really easy decision to go with Thon Maker. And now we'll have a bunch of Beasley players to put on the bench, man. George Hill, great backup point guard. Danny Green, great backup shooting guard. Sean Kilpatrick, he can shoot the ball and he's a really nice player. So obviously he's gonna make this squad. We'll get Jared Dudley in there um, Aaron Baines as well obviously got a throw shooter in the lineup and now we have th uh, two more spots for some beastly bronze players I think I'm gonna go with Terrence Ferguson and last but not least TJ Leaf man those are the two guys I'm gonna finish off with this is what the final team will look like obviously there is going to be a lot of changes I'm probably going to use the contracts of a few of these guys like Aaron Baines maybe Sean Kilpatrick uh, possibly even Bobby Portis and then maybe sell them I'm not sure exactly we're gonna have to see what we get in the future domination packs but yeah man as you add players to the team especially out of domination packs as i said earlier in this video in the stream you definitely want to go over to the schedule challenges and just complete a few of those man pick up some contracts because you are going to need those contract cards so you don't have to waste mt on giving you guys contracts especially if you are one to grind through challenges but yeah man i'm really happy with the progress we made in just one day and we're gonna make a ton more progress tonight on the live stream make sure to be there it's going to be a ton of fun yesterday it was probably Probably my favorite stream so far I've done all year I just had a really really good time chatting with you man we streamed for four hours we're gonna be grinding again tonight I don't know if I'm gonna go that long but we'll have to wait and see but yeah man make sure to show up to the stream gonna be grinded domination maybe some challenges chatting with you guys seeing who you guys think I should add to the squad and maybe even picking up a few players on the auction house I'm gonna be honest yesterday you guys killed the like goal you guys got 500 easily I'm gonna set the bar higher man I'm gonna double it let's try to get a thousand likes on this video i know you guys could do it show that love if you want me to continue to post budget squad videos and tomorrow i'm gonna try to debut the brooklyn broke boys in super max so that's going to be a lot of fun make sure to smash that like button if you guys want to see that thank you all for watching though man hopefully you did enjoy and i will see you guys in the live stream tonight peace